Before you launch your app, there's a real risk of things breaking that looked totally fine in the editor. So today I'm walking you through five simple but essential ways to test your app before going live. Some of these don't even take long, but they catch the kinds of issues that cause real headaches on launch day. Let's jump in. Tip number one, test as different user roles. A lot of builders test everything while logged in as an all access administrator, and that's where things go wrong. Permissions, visibility rules, redirects, they all behave differently depending on the user. So here's what you wanna do. Test while you're logged in as every key role in your app. Let's say you have customers, sellers, coaches, team members, guests. Make sure you run through your app logged in as each one of these roles. Also, test every single page as a logged out user. You'd be surprised how often we catch security gaps in page access because a logged in only page was only ever tested while logged in. And finally, have somebody else test it too. You already know what's supposed to happen, so a fresh set of eyes might catch something that you missed. Tip number two, stress test weird behavior. Here's where you wanna push the edges a little. Test your app at different times of the day, in different time zones, and different browsers. Bubble can behave a little differently in Safari versus Chrome, for example. You can simulate testing different time zones by just changing the system time zone on your computer. That way you can confirm any logic that's dependent on dates and times, uh, make sure that they're still working properly. Try weird inputs like emojis in a name field or really long messages. You can try submitting a form with a blank required field. And test error scenarios on purpose. What happens if the internet drops mid signup? What if the payment fails? What if the user clicks the back button during onboarding? These are things that only show up in real world usage because people do weird, unexpected things, unlike your clean test paths. Okay, real quick here. If you're finding this helpful, we have so much more to teach you over in our free extended workshop at coachingnocodeapps.com slash workshop, where we'll guide you through our four phased approach for going from idea to app. So if you're looking for a start to finish guide, go ahead and register for that workshop right after this video, you'll get immediate access. For now, let's get back to our lesson. Tip number three, test the live environment. This is the one that's the most overlooked by far. Just because something works in development mode does not mean it's going to work the exact same way in live mode. And that's because your API keys might be different. Your links may be fixed to test URLs and your live database might be empty if you forgot to copy data over like pricing plans or marketplace categories. Remember in Bubble, you have two separate databases, one for the development environment and one for the live environment. So go to your live version URLs and walk through your entire core experience there. Look out for empty repeating groups or tables, missing images, broken maps, or any API functions that just aren't working. Check that all your API connections and plugins are set up correctly, especially if they require different live credentials. And don't forget to update any details on those external accounts too, such as live webhook URLs. This is the one that sneaks up on people because it doesn't present itself until you're in live mode. Don't skip it. Tip number four, test responsive behavior on actual devices. The responsive editor is helpful, but it's not a perfect stand-in for real world use. So you need to open your app on a small phone, a tablet, a large desktop monitor, and actually use it. Tap, scroll, type, swipe, right? You wanna see if any buttons are getting cut off, if repeating groups are too wide, if the text is too small to read, and so on. These are common places where responsive issues show up that can look fine in the editor. And this is especially important if you're building a native mobile app on Bubble. You actually want to use your app on a mobile device. Simulators on your desktop are never gonna be the same as the real thing. Tip number five, simulate real world data volume. It's one thing to test your app when there are two test entries in your database. It's another thing to test it when there are hundreds of users and thousands of records in play. So try adding more user accounts, creating long message threads, adding multiple calendar events, and triggering many scheduled back-end workflows from different users so your app has to work harder within shorter timeframes. Then test your page speeds, your search and filter performance, how scrolling and pagination behave. This kind of testing helps you spot performance issues early, like when a repeating group gets slow or a database update lags. You need enough data to mimic real use. That's it, five simple checks that can save you a ton of launch day stress test like different users, try weird edge cases, 
Don't forget to test your app in the live mode, check responsiveness on real devices, and simulate real usage volume. If you're close to launching, now is the time to run through this list. And if you've already launched, it's still not too late to tighten things up. All right, I hope that was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to register for that free extended training over at coachingnocodeapps.com slash workshop. You'll get immediate access as soon as you register. And the link for that is in the description below. Okay, happy building.